Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can insert an Excel table into your Autodesk Inventor drawings. So let's take a look at those steps. First, here's my table inside of Microsoft Excel, and it's just a standard series of small woodworking tools and the primary and secondary vendors that I have for a series of woodworking projects that I have. Now this table might be maintained by someone else with no CAD knowledge, so this could be an easy way to leverage the experience that you have available to you. Now we're going to go ahead and bring this onto the drawing of this end table and merge the two together. To place the table on my drawing, I'm going to go to the Annotate tab and choose the General Table icon. This allows me to go ahead and begin configuring my table but in this case, I'm going to browse out to a folder location, choose my vendor list Excel file, and open it. Now the dialog box will change a little bit, and I can change the data start cell, which is the place where the actual data that has been typed in, the vendor and the tool for example, that's where that data starts. In this case, it's A3. Next is the column header row. Where is the values for the column headers going to end up at? In my case, it's row two. Once I hit OK, I can go ahead and bring the table in and I can drop it on my page. Once this is dropped on the page, I can go ahead and begin stretching out cells and moving cells and changing things so it looks the way I want it to look on the page. Now you can see it didn't bring the title in, but I can go ahead and edit the chart and begin making changes. For example, I'm going to choose the table layout icon. Now I can change the table name. And I'm also going to flip the direction and move the header to the bottom instead of at the top. I can also go ahead and change textiles to choose textiles out of my drawings, as well as changing the wrapping options. But in this case, I'm happy with my results and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and then hit OK again to return to my drawing. And there we are, I can go ahead and dock this above my title block for example, but there's a quick way of stepping through and leveraging Excel and importing it and using that to create the table for your drawings. That's it for this video, we'll see you next time.